Good afternoon. This is the 24th of May, and this is Cricket, or Nikki's Kids. I almost said Cricket. These guys are like, wind me up, turn me loose. This will be the last time I get in here with them, but I wanted to give you current weights. Everybody that was kind of like in their shell has come out of their shell. I know I see them. I see them. Look at eyeballs. This one does not have blue eyes. This one has green eyes. Let me see your eyeballs. Oh, I can't see you back there. I know, it's bright. Green eyes. What? I know it. I see them. I see them. You got green eyes. Let me see yours. I'm pretty sure yours are green too. Let me see yours. Yep, green eyes. Everybody's got green eyes. It's including you. Yes, you do. I'm pretty sure yours are going to stay green. Uh, they're doing really, really good. So today I'm going to give you update. I know you're sneaking in. Remember how this one was hiding under everybody last week? And I told you, just wait, it'll change. Well, it changed. So, okay, guys, hold on. Let me move my knee. Can't sit like that. No. Um, so I'm going to give you weights, microchip numbers. Although, you know what? I can give you collar colors. You all know your collar colors. So we don't have to microchip anybody. So this is the neon pink collar phantom. She has always been into everything, haven't you? This is a bad girl. Just a bad girl. All right, let's see what you weigh. They are back in the house with us. Uh, we just started weaning. Uh, we're gonna take our time with it because I wanted to make sure that they're all eating really good. Nobody has any issues. We're starting them all on carrots this week. And that's gonna be their treat. I know, I see you get your belly too. So they're all gonna get carrots. Come on, tell me, please tell me you didn't die. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this thing. Okay, this did this to us once before. And I don't know what I did to it, but it worked after I did it. You're chewing on my fingers, guys. All right, let me see. We just used it all morning. It's scared to death, I'm sorry. Guess what? If it doesn't work, you slam it on the ground, and then it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's my motto, but don't tell Gary that. Hmm, if it doesn't work, did I scare the bajubies out of you? Did you climb up in my lap? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, go look at it. It's not going to hurt you. It just made a lot of noise. See, it's okay. It's okay. All right, everybody's okay now. Did you find out you can climb up on my lap? I know it. You're so bad. So, neon pink. Let me hold you up and give you a... They just had a bath. They just got their face trimmed. Right, you're trying. You can't quite get that back foot up on my lap. Oh, there you made it. Uh, they're just doing great. They're just super fun. They're happy. Two pounds, 11 point, two pounds, 12 ounces. We might make three pounds. We're gonna have to see. Uh, I started them on liver. They love liver. Yes, and your tail's going 90 miles an hour. Oh, she says that scratch is right there. Oh, okay. Since you're on my lap, let's do you. This is the little Merle male that's the Phantom Merle. He's got the yellow collar. And he's just a doll baby. He's just, you're just a wad of hair and legs. That's all you are. His hair is, all of their coats are like super, super thick. Dave just got this big wad of hair. I know you went up too. You'll be all right. Let me see what you weigh. Two pounds, nine ounces. Oh, you're going to step off, aren't you? Okay. There you go. But such a cute face, I swear. Every time we go by these guys, we have to talk to them and pet them in the garage. But we brought them up a little early because we want them to get used. And this one's going to make three pounds, no sweat. This is the neon green. That's my finger. Don't chew my fingers. No bite. No bite. All right. And we are working on no bite in the house. Two pounds. Oh, look at there. Three pounds, zero point three pounds, zero. All right, so this one's definitely good to go. I know it, I see you, I see you. Who did we not do yet? Come here. Good baby. So this is the turquoise blue collar. And there's the turquoise blue under all this hair. I know, I see you, such a cute babies. You're just spoiled, you're spoiled, yeah, you're spoiled. Love the coat, coats are awesome. They're all identical, there's no difference in coats personalities have all bloomed out the same, which I knew they would. It's always hard for people to understand when they see a puppy that's super, super shy, 
when it's three or three weeks old and not know that it's going to change. But that's just the that's just the way the animal works. See, we are sometimes somebody is shy and then they come right out of it, and then you're obnoxiously friendly, aren't you? All right, let's see what this one weighs. This one is probably three pounds too. Nope, three pound, two pounds, 14 ounces. So this one's gonna make it. You're gonna be my question, aren't you? Are you gonna get your back up on my lap? I know, you're such a cute baby. You're such a cute baby. Yeah, I know, you are too. Let me see, I can't remember what you were. We're probably gonna make it on these guys because they're all eating liver. They're all eating cottage cheese. Um, carrots aren't gonna do too much for them, except just, I like to start them on carrots for a snack. If you don't want to buy expensive, expensive treats, then stick to the carrots because they're going to like them when they go home. And look. He says, I don't care about that thing. You know what? We could do it. Can we do a game of tug of war? You got teeth in there yet? He said, No, we'd just rather have attention. So we'd just rather have attention. Are you hot? Yeah, you're used to the air conditioning. The kennel's air conditioned. And they're out here in the shade in 90 degree weather and it's like they're panting. See, I'm hot. See, I'm hot. Yes, I'm hot. So they're all doing great. Um, I can't think of anything. The biggest thing I could tell you when you go home is um, just stay away from canned dog food. And the treats and stuff that you get, um, the more stuff you buy, I started to say, what'd you do? The more, I should say, junk you buy at the store and to give them treats, the more you ruin them on eating their dog food. If you stick to simple things like carrots, pieces of apple, um, green beans, things like that, it does, and ice cube chips. I had a customer remind me the other day, she said, the only thing you forgot on your dog food video was ice cube chips. Ice cube chips make great treats. They love them if you start them out with them. If you start them out on all the stuff you buy at the dog at the pet stores that are junk, they're not going to eat anything else because it's like feeding your kids Oreo cookies three meals a day and then decide they're going to have green beans and liver and onions for dinner and they're going to go, I'm not eating that. And that's what the puppies will do. Hi. No licking. No licking. There's a chance this one may stay blue. I just got it. Got a glimpse of him looking with the sun in, and they may stay blue, but I think they're going to go green. I think they're going to go green. I know, you just want petted. You're just here to be petted. But um, if you have any questions, also, please don't hesitate to call me. I don't mind whatsoever. You are just too people-oriented now. Yeah, look. Look here. It says, I don't care about that stuff. I'd rather be petted. So, um, they, do like, they do like attention, I can tell you that much. I know, I know, and you're just bad. You're just bad, all of you. So if you have questions, please give me a call. I'm gonna go ahead and send out your puppy videos this week. Um, today is Monday. If you don't have them by Wednesday evening, please text me and say, hey, I did not get my video, videos. There's about seven videos for you to watch. And uh, it will tell you everything I would have told you when you come here to pick up your puppy. So the nice thing is that way you can write down questions that I didn't answer for you because everybody always has something I didn't answer. And bring me your questions and we can chat about whatever you want. What? I get you. I get you. Are you barking? The other bad thing to do, if you don't want them barking at you all the time, don't yodel back at them and try and mimic their noises because you're going to regret it. Um, and you know between now and when they go home we are going to work on no bark playing outside or barking is one thing but in the house i i train no bark for nuisance barking i don't want them sitting there barking at me like crazy because they want my attention so um and i use a fly swatter which i can tell you and explain to you when you come and a lot of times if they bite i'll pop them in the nose with the back of my hand and tell them no bite if you do not stop the biting in the first week when it goes home and you offer them a toy or you, no bite no lots of times i'll flick them in the nose and tell them no bite and they'll go away and it changes their whole mind please don't email me and or put comments that how dare you snap them in the nose 
Well, you know what? If the dog is going to bite hard enough at some point, if you let it continue, that it draws blood, you've got to make it realize it's not allowed to bark, no bite. Or chew on your clothes, chew on your kids, chew on the furniture. And see, all that was was a little tap, looked up at me and changed his mind, and away he goes. So it's not being brutal to them. It's not being anything except I was a disciplinary mom. I was a disciplinary grandma. And just don't tolerate a, a habit that you don't like. Don't let them do it right from the beginning because once they get it as a pattern of their lifestyle, it becomes something you have to deal with forever. So don't start it up front, even though it's cute. If it's not gonna be cute when they weigh 10 pounds, it's not cute now. And I know a lot of people say they'll, the dog tears holes in their pants or pulls their socks. Stop it right up front. They absolutely are smart enough to learn it. You just have to be Please excuse me to say this, but smart enough to teach them not to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed their video today. They're doing great. They really are. And this, this one says, I just went up in your lap. Can you just please leave me there? They're so bad. I know you just want me to love on you, don't you? And you're just pitiful. You were the one that was so afraid of your own shadow. Now you're not anymore. I know it's a good baby. So call me if you have questions. Let me know if you don't get your videos by Wednesday and uh, have a great week and a safe one and we'll talk to you later.